Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Puru Dhaman. Today we will discuss how is CKD is a progressive disease as well as how nephron damage can cause kidney failure. We all know that our body is made up of millions of tiny cells and these cells perform all the necessary function inside the our body. But the question arises, what happens when these cells in our body or in the kidney dies somewhere? The answer is that damaged cells tries to harm other cells around them. Because of this, all CKD patients are told that their disease is a self-progressive. In this case, even if your BP and sugar are fine, the problem with your kidney continues to move forward. For further information, look at the diagram on your screens. These cells are stuck together like a ball, right? Now try to understand how the structure of the cells works in the body. The cells that are close to the blood supply, they take oxygen and food directly from the bloodstream. However, the cells that are far away, what happened to them is that the first cells keeps passing the oxygen and food to the next cell in the chain reaction. This supply from cell to cell contains food and waste material. Now suppose that if somewhere in the middle of this process where the cells are distributing important minerals, oxygen, food, one of the cells get damaged, then what will happen? The food supply as well as the oxygen supply chain will be disturbed. Because of this, the cells starts getting weak and we get to see that the disease has started to progress. Now what is our main responsibility in such cases? Our responsibility is that now we know that our cells are dying because of not getting proper oxygen and food. So we have to provide extra food and nutrition to the body. Therefore, the deficiency that was created can be reduced. Now you may think what happened to the body once we try this. The answer is that the disease will tend to retard and will not move forward. Another important factor that need to be considered here is Generally, kidney failure patients start dieting by eating boiled vegetables and switching to fruit-based diet. This is the biggest mistake. The reason behind is our body is not getting protein. And we all know that our whole body is made up of protein. So, for any reason, if physician asks any CKD patient to consume less food and uh, the patient starts dieting, this will not suitable for survival of the body. After this deficiency starts to developing in the body, this may lead to various symptoms that can be found in body, be it a swelling in feet, shortness of blood, tiredness, loss of appetite, etc. etc. Now, if all these signs and symptoms are ignored, then eventually it will lead to the patient to the kidney failure. So I hope you understood our today's topic regarding cell damage and kidney failure. Now, however, if you have any queries related to our today's video, please reach us in the comment section or number displayed on the screen. My doctor's team will get back to you as soon as possible. I will see you all in the next video. Till then, take care and stay healthy.